Debbie McGee, 63, has shared fresh heartache following the loss of her late husband, magician Paul Daniels, and was given a lot of support from fans. The star took to her Twitter to share the heartfelt content. Debbie shared a photo of herself and her husband from their wedding day. The Strictly Come Dancing star revealed she was reminiscing about their love story on the anniversary of his death. The photo was then shared with Debbie's 43,600 followers. She wrote, It seems like yesterday I lost this wonderful man. Can't believe it's six years today. Our wedding day happy memories. Fans took to the post to share their own thoughts and feelings about Paul. James Moran wrote, Still very much missed by everyone. Even though we didn't know him personally his love for life and magic was irresistible. We really did like him a lot. At Debium Fan Club said, Thinking of you Debbie, Paul was such a wonderful man. He's missed so much by us all. His legacy will forever live on, sending you all my love. At Henry underscore the underscore hippo penned, Debbie, while Paul is in your memories he is not lost. Dot at Phil Creighton said, Oh Debbie, I'm sorry. He was such a special man. I know you cherish such special memories with him. Sending you much love to Day 30 Debbie told SWNS at the start of this month about her last days with the magician. The star died in March 2016 from an aggressive brain tumor at the age of 77. She said that the illness stripped Paul of everything after he was told he had pernicious anemia in 2016. The magician took a course of antibiotics at the time and it was assumed that he would recover soon. Debbie did, however, become concerned at the time due to Paul's increasingly lethargic behavior, which included getting up late and watching too much TV. After seeing a neurosurgeon, the couple were told that he had a grade 4 brain tumor, which Debbie explained was aggressive. Debbie explained what the two did in his final days. We watched movies together and ate ice cream, Debbie said. Paul was never able to talk about his diagnosis but he was a clever man and of course he knew he was dying. He sat quietly with tears rolling down his face as we watched the wedding scene in the second best exotic Marigold Hotel, she heartbreakingly added.